coaster collection battles in my channel are basically comparing roller coaster collections of different amusement parks. And today I'm comparing Michigan's Adventures roller coaster lineup to The Great Escapes. Can Michigan's Adventures Shivering Timbers carry them all the way to victory? Or can The Great Escape and their decent roller coasters help them win the better coaster collection? But let's get started. With the classic Vekalmas, Thunderhawk and Boomerang Coaster Coaster, Thunderhawk is a pretty intense ride and it has a pretty good drop, some nice inversions, but it is kind of a ratly roller coaster, so that's why I'm giving it to Boomerang Coaster Coaster. Become Boomerangs aren't that ratly, so that's why I'm giving it to Boomerang. Small Family Coaster is worth one point. Canyon Blaster versus Mad Mouse, and Mad Mouse all it is is a bunch of switchbacks, a few tiny drops in there with some more switchbacks. So Canyon Blaster, it has some nice turns for the mine train. So overall, Canyon Blaster, in my opinion, is the better ride. Great Escape is starting to come out on top with their nice smaller roller coasters. But with the Aero Loopers, Corkscrew at Michigan's Adventure will gain the advantage. Steam and Demon, I've heard very bad things about it, that the vertical loop is brutal, one of the worst on any aero looper, and the two corkscrews are brutal, and it's just a pure rough ride. While corkscrew, the first time I rode this ride, it was so rough, I didn't like it at all, but when I came back this past year, I really liked it, so that's why I'm giving it to corkscrew. Steel Kid Coasters, this is worth .5 points. And these two kid coasters are pretty small. Frankie's Mine Train and Little and Big Dipper. Big Dipper should be called Little Dipper because it's not that big. But Big Dipper is going to lose to Frankie's Mine Train. Because Frankie's Mine Train has a nice setting with a lake right by it. So that's why I'm giving it to Frankie's Mine Train. Airtime Filled Woodies worth three points. Shivering Timbers or the Comet. And... Shivering Timbers will gain three points for Michigan's Adventure for its awesome airtime during the first half of the ride and its closing helix at the end. So that's why I'm giving it to Shivering Timbers. Even though the Comet has some great airtime with it as well, I just prefer Shivering Timbers. Extra Coasters. Wolverine Wildcat and Zack Zoomer will gain 1.5 points combined for Michigan's Adventures, so they will have a total of 5.5 points, with Alpine Bobsled giving the Great Escape 1 point, giving them 3.5 points. So, which coaster collection won Michigan's Adventures did? Because Shivering Timbers carried them, or has most of their points, with 3 out of the 5.5 points their 1.5 points from the extra coasters really did help. And even with without cor without the arrow loopers in this, Michigan's Adventure still would have won. But the sh with Shivering Timbers winning the battle against Comet, Zack Zoomer and Wolverine Wildcat being extra coasters for Michigan's Adventure in this battle, as well as Corkscrew being Steam and Demon, Michigan's Adventure came out on top, barely. With a barely two-point win, overall, Michigan's Adventure has the better lineup. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.